Friday was International Holocaust Remembrance Day, marking the 78th anniversary of the liberation of the Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camp in Poland by horrified soldiers of the Soviet Red Army. As anti-Semitism echoes through history, it is with us still today, giving fresh resonance to an acclaimed play called Lea Polstadt that is drawing emotional, sold-out audiences to Broadway. Harry Smith takes us there in our Sunday Spotlight. Vienna, 1899. A wealthy family celebrates Christmas. It's a beautiful star, darling. But it's not the star we put at the top of our Christmas tree. <laughs> they are Jewish. We're telling a story about not just Jews, but about humanity and the forces that would tear that apart. David Crumhold's character has already converted to Catholicism. He does not dwell on the past, and he can't even fathom that the past would come to haunt him again. Jews had been persecuted for centuries in Austria. Their liberation was only several decades old. In 1899, Vienna had become a kind of Jewish utopia. This is the promised land, and not because it's some place on a map where my ancestors came from. Shakespeare warned us that past is prologue. Jenna Augen has dual roles in the play. I just think this sense of safety at the beginning of the play is something we feel. And I think that should make us think. It's its own warning. It's its own warning. Yet as seductive as assimilation is, a prejudicial fact remains. There isn't a Gentile anywhere who at one moment or another hasn't thought, Jew. Brandon Uranowitz recites that line eight times a week. My father, I was always so tuned in to how acutely he felt anti-Semitism. And now because of this play, I feel it. Leopoldstadt is the work of English playwright Tom Stoppard, to whose own roots he paid little attention until lunch with a cousin in 1993. I said, look, look, are we Jewish? And she said, what do you mean? And she wrote down a family tree, four grandparents, of course, who were all murdered by the Germans. That big family on stage in the beginning of the play is fictional, but Kristallnacht and the Holocaust that became personal to Stoppard figure mightily in the production's outcome. These were people with lives, with meaning, with relationships, and with love. The play's effect profound on each of these cast members. I just felt to honor the memory we're trying to honor here. I think it's quite important. Still, anti-Semitism persists, and in fact, is on the rise in America. Surveys show it, superstars proclaim it. Two thirds of Americans under 40 do not know that six million Jews were killed in the Holocaust. And to that, Leopoldstadt is a powerful antidote. And there's people packing this audience every single night to cheer alongside us, to stand and be counted in the fight against racism, anti-Semitism, and prejudice. For Sunday Today, Harry Smith, New York. Harry, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.